many of you know what chat GPT is? Now, AI is, you know, it's a threat too, but if we, if, we were, if we had our act together ethically, it's possible that AI could become a, a useful servant rather than a tyrannical master. Jordan Peterson, renowned for his sharp insights and frank opinions, delves into the very core of the issue, warning us about the impending danger of AI, a warning that cannot be ignored. They're always after the next new thing as fast as possible. So it's a machine that's speeding along as fast as a machine possibly can. And, and God only knows where it's headed in some sense, right? Because there's so many things happening at the same time that it's impossible to keep track. And we don't even know what these things are. As Peterson articulates his fears, you can't help but feel the weight of his words. His warnings echo through your mind. He paints a bleak picture of a future where the line between humans and machines blurs and we lose sight of our humanity. But the new AI systems will be able to extract out patterns from the world itself, from images and so forth, and then be able to test their linguistic constructions against the world. And so they'll practice just like scientists. And the most advanced models are going to use text and image and action as well because they'll be able to model human action. You know this, there are things coming down the pipeline on the artificial intelligence front that are just gonna make your hair stand on end within the next year, because there is so much transformation going on in that domain. And, and that's been the case, particularly for the last six months, that it's almost unimaginable. How many of you know what chat GBT is? Okay. So I'll, not very many. So I'll tell you what Chad GPT is, just so you know, because you need to know this. And I don't know what sort of technological revolution this is. Gutenberg press level? It's something like that.